everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a K-5 STEM teacher and ed tech coach in Los Angeles. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and today's video is all about the one by Wacom. Wacom is one of the most trusted brands for graphic tablets and it's loved by designers and creatives all across the world. In the classroom, more and more teachers are beginning to discover the amazing potential of incorporating graphic tablets into their teaching. One by Wacom is a pen tablet that works with PCs, Macs, and Chromebooks. It's actually one of the only pen tablet tools out there that works with Chromebooks, which I think is pretty cool. You'll also love that the One by Wacom integrates perfectly with all of the EdTech tools that you're already using. So think like Kami, Jamboard, Pear Deck, different tools like that. Students can also use this tool to draw and edit photos, collaborate in online classes, and even complete academic assignments using their own handwriting. The way it works is that when you draw on the One by Wacom tablet using the pen tool, the marks will appear directly on your computer screen. It's as easy as that. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how you can use the One by Wacom tablet in your classroom. So first, we're going to go over setup and installation. It's a really quick and simple process. Then we'll take a look at three different examples for how I plan to use this tool in my teaching next school year. And a big thank you to Wacom for sending me the One by Wacom to check out. All right, let's get into the video. need to take in order to get started with your one by Wacom. This setup process is really quick and simple. The first step is that you're going to want to plug the USB cable into your tablet and your computer. Then you're going to want to download the install driver. I'm a Mac user, so I click on Mac here. If you use Windows, you'd click on Windows. And then lastly, you're going to just want to follow the instructions that appear on your screen. Because I've already set up and installed this on my computer, I'm not gonna walk you through the process, but like I said, it's really quick and simple. All you need to do is follow these three steps and you're good to go. Google Jamboard is one of my favorite ed tech tools. I really love this tool because it essentially functions as a digital whiteboard for you to use in your classroom. So I've opened up a blank Google Jamboard file and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how using the one by Wacom is going to make this process so much easier than trying to interact with Google Jamboard using a mouse or your trackpad. So right now I am using the pen to, I'm going to create some writing so you can just kind of get an idea of how this works. So I want to click on the pen tool and let's say I want to do maybe like a thicker pen. I really like this highlighter and I can choose a fun color. So I'm going to show you what my handwriting looks like. So this tool does take a little bit of time to get used to. I've been playing around with it for a couple days now, so I'm pretty comfortable using it. So like I said, there's kind of an initial learning curve, but once you get used to it, I mean, this is pretty incredible. This looks just like my normal handwriting, but it's on the screen here. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you if I were to try to do this using my trackpad, how disastrous it would look in comparison. The O's are particularly bad. So you'll see that when I'm trying to do this using my trackpad, it doesn't look very good. It's taking a really long time. My finger is getting sore already. What's so great about this tool is that you can use it for handwriting. So if you are using a digital whiteboarding tool like Google Jamboard, using the one by Wacom just makes this process so much easier. So I know that when I use Google Jamboard with my students next year, I'm going to make sure that I'm using my one by Wacom tablet because it'll make this just so much better of an experience for students. For our next example, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the one by Wacom when you're grading student work using the app Cami. I personally love Cami. I think it's a really awesome tool for providing students with feedback, for assessing work. Students can also use this tool to annotate different documents. And so Cami has a bunch of different features that are really awesome. 
For this portion of today's video, I'm just going to be focusing on how you as the teacher can use the One by Wacom Pen tablet to grade, grade student work in Kami. So right now what you're looking at is I've opened up Kami and you'll see that this is some work that a student might submit to me that I could then grade in Kami. So right now here on the left hand side, you'll see that we have all these different options. Right now, we're just going to be focusing on this drawing option here, but if you've never used Kami before, I'd highly recommend you explore and see what these other features do. They're really, really great for annotating. So right now here, I'm going to click on drawing, and first you'll see that at the very top it says stroke thickness. So I want to change the thickness of the, uh, the drawing stroke. I can do that just by selecting one of these numbers. I can also change the transparency of it. So if you want it to be more like highlightery, you can decrease this. And then now I also can change the color. So let's say I want to grade using this purple color here. I can just click on it. And now I can begin using this tool uh, just like I did with the Google Jamboard example. So right now I'm just drawing on my, on my tablet and I can provide the student with feedback. So maybe I'll notice that there was a typo. Here it says I can open up a digital whiteboard, plug in my tablet and get started. I can add in some comments, commas for this student. And then the last sentence here said, you should consider grading my assignment with the one by Wacom. The pen tool is awesome. So I can go in here and add a period. You can also capitalize this T and I can even provide the student with some feedback. So I can write something like great work. And so you'll see this was just a very quick way that I can provide students with feedback. I really love using the one by Wacom when I'm grading digital assignments because I think that it just makes the experience so much better and quicker for you as the teacher. Also, like I said with the Google Jamboard example, this is a very clear example that my handwriting here looks so much better than it would if I were using a trackpad or a mouse. For our third and final example, we're going to be taking a look at another digital whiteboard tool called Explain Everything. Now, unlike Google Jamboard, Explain Everything is really awesome because it allows you to actually record what you are doing. So almost like you're recording yourself giving a presentation. This is a tool that I really like for students to use in my classroom when I want them to explain their work or to teach a concept. And then of course, it's also a really great tool that you as the teacher can use when you're explaining a concept to your students. So if you teach using a blended learning model or maybe a flipped classroom model, explain everything can be a really great tool for you to use. So in this portion of the video, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you an example for how I might teach a concept in Explain Everything using my One by Wacom pen tablet. So right now we're looking at a project that I put together in Explain Everything. So you'll notice that I've already done a little bit of prep, prep work here. Basically what I've done is I've just created this Venn diagram here because I'm planning to teach about the TPAC model. A few things I want to point out before we actually give the mini presentation, I'm essentially going to be modeling how to teach using a combination of the one by Wacom and explain everything. So on the left hand side here, you will see that there are tons of buttons that you can click on. Again, if you've never used uh, Explain Everything before, I highly recommend that you kind of play around with this because there's a lot of cool features here. I'm just going to be using really this drawing tool today. Um, so when I click on the drawing tool, you'll see that first I have the pen thickness, so I can change the thickness here. Then we also have the type of pen it is, so either a pen or a pencil, and then also some colors down here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to begin recording a presentation and I'm going to show you kind of what this looks like in action. So first I'll click on the record button to start recording. The TPAC model is a tech integration model that is helpful for teachers in allowing them to examine and reflect on the ways that technology are used in the classroom. The idea behind the TPAC model is that there are three different types of knowledge, technological knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, and content knowledge. The idea here is that all three of these areas are intersecting when you're teaching. So content knowledge is the actual material or the subject that you're teaching. So teachers are experts in that. 
Pedagogical knowledge is essentially the knowledge that teachers are bringing on how to teach. And then at the very top, technological knowledge, that's the part where tech comes into play. So that's teachers' knowledge about technology, either how to use it or the types of thinking that are involved when you're teaching with technology. And the very center here, this is really the goal here for many teachers, is to reach this very center. And at the center, that is what is called TPAC. So our goal really is to be meeting this in the center, which is TPAC. The intersection of technological knowledge and content knowledge is TCK. The intersection of content knowledge and pedagogical knowledge is PCK. Then of course the intersection of technological knowledge and pedagogical knowledge is TPK. And as I've already shared, the very center here is going to be TPAC. So now I've stopped recording and I can do a little bit of editing if I would like to uh, make some adjustments before I share this assignment with students. But that's how I would recommend using the one by Wacom when you're using the tool Explain Everything. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the one by Wacom. I hope you're leaving this video with some examples and some strategies for how you can use this tool in your classroom. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and I'll see you back here soon. By the way, another big thank you to Wacom for sending me the one by Wacom to try out. Bye friends.